Jeremy, great job. Lewis, that's the second test you failed this month. What's going on? Um, sorry, Miss Wilson. I, um... It's because he's dumb! <laughs> Sean, that's not very nice. Well, if you want to graduate, you can't fail any more exams. You understand me? Class, please open your books to lesson three. Who wants to read? How about... Lewis? Well, why don't you read for us? Um, can someone else read instead? I didn't call anyone else. I called on you. Is there a problem? Yeah, everyone knows that the pea brain can't read. <laughs> Sean, stop it. Lewis, go ahead. Um, okay. Lesson three. Sit. 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 Synthesize. Synthesize the con, con. Lewis, this is not a difficult word. Sound it out. Con. Ugh, it's content, smart guy. Sean. What? Come on, Ms. Wilson, he's in the eighth grade and he can't even read? Why can't you pick on someone who's not so duh, duh, dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, cut it out. Lewis, I'm worried about you. You're not at the reading level you need to be. I just mix up my words sometimes. I'm afraid you don't belong in this class. Come with me. Have fun in special ed, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> You are Lewis, your new class. Lewis? Hi, I'm Mrs. Green, your new teacher. Mm, nice book. You like Tony Robbins? Yeah. My dream is to become a writer and speaker one day. I want to be great, just like him. Well, well, well. If it isn't L L L Lewis and his special ed f f f friends, all you'll ever grow up to be is a janitor. Hey, you get out of here right now, or I'm gonna send you to the principal's office. Whatever. Oh my goodness. Hey, don't listen to him, okay? No, he's right. I'm just dumb. I'll never be smart enough to be great like Tony. I probably won't even graduate. Let me ask you something. What do you think Mr. Robbins would say to that? I, I don't know. Well, I know exactly what he would say because he wrote it on a picture for me when I met him. It says, whatever you believe, you can achieve. Signed, Tony. He really signed that? Yeah, he did. You know what? Here. Keep it. And if you ever lose belief in yourself, you remember that. Thanks, Miss Green. I'll never forget this. <laughs> Oh, and do me one favor. Don't forget to bring me a signed copy of your book when you become best-selling author, okay? I will. <laughs> With the help of Miss Green, Lewis finally starts believing in himself for the first time in his life. Over time, Lewis learns how to read and starts doing much better in school. With Mrs. Green's help, he eventually graduates on time and becomes one of the top ranking students in his school. Several years pass and Lewis decides to start writing his very first book. He goes around trying to sell his book to strangers. 
He does this day after day, so excited to get his book out there. That is, until he realizes no one wants to buy it. The book was a total failure. After months of trying and failing, he starts losing belief in himself and decides to give up on his dreams. But then one day, he happens to run into someone that he used to know that would change his life forever. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't be an author, I'm too dumb. Whatever, Sean was right, I should just go be a janitor. Watch Sorry. where you're going. Sorry, it's my fault. Wait, Lewis? It's Miss Wilson from middle school. Oh. Uh. How have you been? <laughs> I've had better days. What's wrong? Well, I tried to come out with a book, but um, it was a total flop. Nobody read it. Oh, well, I wouldn't beat yourself up too much. I mean, after all, you were in special ed, right? It was good seeing you. What am I doing? Like I could be a writer, like I could be anything, like Tony Robbins. I wish I'd never read this stupid book. Whatever you believe, you can achieve. And if you ever lose belief in yourself, you remember that. That's it. I have to keep believing in myself. I'm not gonna give up. With newfound motivation and belief, Lewis gets to work on writing a new book. A few years go by, and this time, his second book is a huge success. Lewis becomes one of the best-selling authors in the world. He develops a huge following, creates a top-ranking podcast, and even meets his idol, Tony Robbins. Lewis's work inspires millions of people around the world. And then one day, he decides to go pay a visit to an old friend. Hey, Miss Green. Well, I wanted to bring you something. It's my new book. I signed it for you. Oh, Lois, you remembered. I am so proud of you. Ms. Green, I'm starting to sweep the floors. Sean, perfect timing. You remember Lois House uh, from school. He's a best-selling author now. Lewis, wow, I, I can't believe it's you. Of course, I know who you are. I, the last time I saw you was... When you told me all it ever amount to was being a janitor. Look, I'm sorry about the way that I treated you when we were kids. I was wrong about you. I, actually, I, I listen to your podcast all the time. Really? I'm a huge fan. Oh, well, thank you. Can I get one of those? You want me to sign it too? Yeah. Can you give me some advice? Sure. My dream has always been to have my own business one day, but I'm just a janitor, so probably won't happen. Well, a wise person once told me, whatever you believe, you can achieve. So always remember that. Hey Darman fam, I hope you loved that video featuring one of my good friends, Mr. Lewis Howes. 
Good to have you here, man. So Thank what you. was this video about? This video is all about believing in yourself because the world or people may discount you or discount your dreams, but you can never stop believing in yourself and believing in your dreams. And it doesn't matter how many people bully you or say that you can't do something. It only takes one to make sure that you can. Wow, I really love that. Thanks for sharing that message. And thank you guys for watching. Please remember that we're not just telling stories. We're changing <laughs> lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, Darman fam, make sure to subscribe to my channels and check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it. You know, if you don't pass this exam, you're not passing this class, right? I'm gonna need the answers for this test. You can't do that. Look, you don't have a choice. So what's it gonna